Hey everyone, it's Donna with Revive Vintage. I sent a message out earlier telling everyone I was going to come back, let you know where I've been um, for the last about five weeks, I guess now. Um, I took a spill. I was carrying a couple large tubs out of my front of my house. I'd back my car up to the front door and we only have two steps coming off the stoop and I was carrying two large tubs and missed a step completely. And down I went, tubs went into the back of the car and come up into my shoulder and I dislocated my shoulder. So that's where I've been for like about five weeks now. I've pretty much stayed away from the store because I knew if I didn't, I wouldn't rest my shoulder. So I've pretty much stayed away. I've been up here a couple of times um, and a couple of you have stopped by and said hey and bought some few things. So I really appreciate that. Um, but I'm back now and speaking of being back and open, um, I do have a note, uh, I have, because I'm doing, trying to play catch up now, so I do have a note on the front door saying please knock, and if it's there, knock, and I'll come let you in. You must wear a mask to enter the store. It's just the rules of the nature of the game, guys. Not my rule, but, you know, it's better to be safe than sorry. I'm, I wear a mask to protect you, and vice versa, so let's just all stay safe. So enough on that. But anyway, I'm working by appointments. I work by knocking on the door or curbside. I mail out, I do all that. So if you, there's anything that you know that you want, let me know. I'll be glad to either do a curbside pickup, mail it out to you, um, or come in and get it, appointment, whichever. Um, so, which leads me to now telling you I've got a new product line. I am now carrying Redesigned by Prima Marketing. Um, and it's good, it's a big line, so I've got lots of new stuff, lots of new stuff coming in. I've ordered transfers, I only have three that's come in. I've got on back order about 13 to 14 of them. And it's not necessarily the, you know, the company's fault. It is just everybody's at home doing crafts. and you know, redesign and so that's just the nature of the game. So anyway, I also want to let you know that I have that. I'll show you a couple of the new products that's come in that just got here a couple days ago. Um, DIY paints, they're here, they're here, they're here. Everybody's been asking about the um, White Swan. I do have White Swan in now, so, and they're in the port, so I do have it in. Um, and like I said, if you need it, let me know because it is taking, it took about five weeks, I guess, maybe a little bit longer to get this order in. And um, I ordered, let me show you what I ordered. I also ordered a, a color, someone had asked me about it, I can't remember who it was. They came into the store, wanted to know if I carried the color Sandy Blonde. I didn't have it, I've got it now. Um, which is this color here, guys. It's almost like a taupe color, a light taupe. So any of you that's interested in that or whoever it was that was interested in, I do have it now. Um, I ordered the large liquid patinas, which I know several people have asked me about. So I do have that in, that's come in. Um, and that's the crystal chandelier. I got the dark and decrepit liquid patina that came in as well. So I got the large in that. Um, also got in the dark and decrepit dust the dark color, it's like a chocolate color, and then I got the white powder as well. So both of those have come in too. Um, oh, and the, I've had people ask me about Golden Ticket. Now I have it, it's here. And Pennies from Heaven, the copper liquid patina by DIY, it's here as well. I'll get my paint can right in a minute. Okay, so it's here, they're all in the 16 ounce and they're here. Um, also, I started carrying, I can't remember if I told you guys or not, I'm carrying the JRV stencil line. I think I had mentioned it, but never showed them, but I do have those now. So I've got quite a big selection of those. I've got pretty much an eight by eight by eight, eight by 11, part of a wall. Got them back there. They're here and ready to go. Price ready to go out the door. Um, also got the JRV stencil brushes. I started carrying the Jamie Ray vintage stencil brushes as well. 
So what I've got in stock now are the large. I ordered two sizes. I only ordered the large and the medium, the number 24, due to the fact that the medium is small enough for the small jobs and the large is large enough for the medium and medium and large jobs as well. So I got the large one in. They're all natural bristles. And these make great wax brushes as well, guys. If you decide you want to use it as a wax brush, you don't have to use it just for a stencil brush, but it's great for a wax brush as well. And I got several of these in. They're ready to go. Maybe not that one. I didn't break it. <laughs> uh, so, like I said, I got the number 24, which is medium. And I'm not, guys, my head's probably looks like it's about chopped off, but it's really not. Um, I think my camera's just a little high. I got the medium in in the JRV stencil brush as well. And if you've got a small job and you want to use it for wax, you can use it for wax as well, guys. It's all natural bristles. Got several of those in. They're ready to go. Um, and then those are the only two stencil brushes that I ordered for Jamie Ray. I didn't order the small ones because they're really tiny. And I figured the medium brush would do the job just as well. Um, also, I've got two new um, lines of the Peg Pixie brushes I started carrying. I'm now carrying the, my air conditioner just went off. I'm now carrying the French tip and the little Frenchie. And they're both tipped. One's bigger than the other one. This is the French tip and this is the little Frenchie here. Got them both in. They're ready for shipping or curbside or pickup, whichever guys you want to do, whatever you want to. Um, but they are here, they're ready to go. They're natural bristles. Also, I got in um, some more of the round number 10s, the synthetic, and the, their handles are flat. They're not round. I don't know about you guys, but the round handle brushes tend to cramp my hand. These that are flat seem to work a lot. You know, my hand don't cramp up with them. But that's the synthetic. That's the creative, number 10 in the Paint Pixie. I got some more of the number 12s in, the Believes. They're in. And like I said, these are the natural paint bristles. And this one's a synthetic. I'm also carrying, oh, no, wait a minute. And the paint, and paint pixie. I am now carrying the dusty. I didn't have it before, but now I do. I have been carrying the little D, which fits perfect in the eight ounce DIY paint cans. They fit down in the small size perfectly. Now I'm carrying the dusty, which is a little bit larger, quite a bit larger. So now I'm carrying the Dusty. It's a great brush, it's a flat. And it's um, great for blending, it's great for application, it's great for anything you wanna use it for. And it's a natural bristles as well. And which now leads me to, I am now carrying the DIY Debbie's Design Diary paint brushes as well. I've now got the, the blending brush. All of Debbie's paint brushes are, the DIY paint on brushes are all synthetic. So this is synthetic. And this one here is the blending brush. It's the same size as the little, is the same size as the Dusty, which is probably about three inches, I guess, guys. I don't wanna quote for sure. And I don't see my tape measure anywhere. So, I can't tell you exactly how wide it is. Is it on here? Let's see. It may be about three inches, guys. Hmm, doesn't say. Okay, so I'm assuming it's about three inches. Measuring it by my hand, that's about what I'm thinking, guessing, a three inch brush. is a blending brush. It's great for blending. It's a synthetic brush by Debbie's Design Diary. Also carrying the Insider, which gets up, it is perfect for getting up into those little crevices. If you've got a piece of furniture, this one doesn't protrude, but if you got a piece of furniture that protrudes out and you know, it's got so much detail and you know, got these little teeny corners you just can't get up into. These will get up in there great. I'm also now carrying a flat brush by Debbie. It's um, a one and a half inch flat brush. And it is the 
the handle on it, guys, I mean, it's really a comfortable brush. And it's all synthetic fibers as well. So I am carrying those. I'm also carrying the suds by Paint Pixie, which is clean, which cleans your brushes. Um, that's how I keep my brushes clean. So I do have that in stock as well. Um, let's see. And like I said, the paint products are in. Next thing I really wanted to get to was the redesign with Prima line that I'm now carrying. Like I said, I got three of the transfers in. Put that paint out of my way. I got three of the transfers in. This is a 24 by 35. I think I was drunk, wasn't you? 24 by 35 is called Wonders Floral. And it comes in three sheets, 24 by 11 by seven inches, three separate sheets. So you don't have one big, huge sheet that you're trying to transfer or trying to cut yourself and cut straight and all that. So it, it's already pre-cut in three separate sheets and they fit together perfectly. You can see that, there it is on a piece of furniture. I got that one in. Oh, I got four in, I thought I had Three. I got four. This one is a 47 by 33 transfer. This thing is huge. And you don't have to use it all. You can use what you need. Um, or you can cut it up and use it in pieces. It's called Violet Hill. And this thing's got some transcript on it, it looks like, guys. I haven't never used this one, but I don't know if it's got, let's see. I think it's just the flowers. I don't know if it's got the transcript on it or not. Yes, it does. It has a transcript on it too, guys. I'm sorry. It does. It has transcript. There it is on a piece of furniture. And it comes in six separate sheets, guys. So no guesswork, no nothing. If you don't need the whole thing, it's already cut for you. Absolutely perfect. Also got in something called, one called Lovely Script and it's all in gold, guys. And there it is on a piece of furniture. You guys can see that without the glare, I hope. But it is so pretty. I've got a piece of furniture that I'm going to put this on, but my piece of furniture isn't white, it's blue. So I'm going to be adding it to that. It's going to be jealous. I'm so excited. And this one's called Paris Valley. And this one comes in three separate sheets as well, guys. And it is black and white, or black. You can see it on that piece of furniture without the glare. Let's see if that helps any at all. And it's pretty, it's a 25 by 34 and 0.2 inches. Also, I got in, for those of you who don't like to do transfers, who are scared to death of transfers, I've got several of you who are, and I know who you are. I'm looking at you. We have now, I'm now carrying what they call decoupage tissue paper. It's thicker, it's almost along the lines of a, um, like a dryer sheet maybe, um, about that thick. And it comes in two separate sheets, so it's already separated for you. And this one's called Flower Market. If you guys can see this, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. But, but like I said, for those of you who do not like to do transfers and like to do decoupage this is what you need you'll love these this one's called celeste celestia maybe celestia celeste this thing is beautiful guys you can put this stuff on wood you can put it on canvas you can put it on the cut it and put it on the inside of your drawers to decorate those you can put it on the drawer front you can put it on a piece of furniture you can put it on Anything you would have transfer, guys, same thing. And this one is called Gazelle, Giselle maybe, J Giselle. And all the tissue paper comes in two separate sheets. And this one's called Iva. I love this one too, guys. This thing is gorgeous. You know what would really be pretty is to take a few of these that come, that, um, that would blend and match together really well and put them on, um, say a few canvases and make yourself a gallery wall or even a picture wall. Do a few of them on the back on 
some large canvas and put them at the back of your couch on the wall. Oh, those would be gorgeous. This one's called Chloe. I think this is one of their newer ones, guys. I, I could be wrong. Don't quote me on this because this is the first time I've ordered from them. But not the first time I've used them. Not the first time. I've used more of redesigned transfers than I have any other transfer. And I like them. Um, if you've come in the shop, you'll see some furniture that has them on it. And I bought those before I ever decided to open up the shop and start doing, um, doing my own furniture for sale. Um, I've done it for customers before. I've ordered them and done them for customers before. Like I said, before I ever started the retail level. And I like them. I like them a lot. I really do. They're a great product. Um, I've never had any problems with any of them coming up off of my furniture. No peeling, no nothing. I never had to prime before I did it. So, I mean, it was, they were absolutely wonderful. So, with that being said, guys, they're in stock. I've got 13 to 14 more. I think it's maybe 13 different designs that are coming in. They haven't got here yet. They were on back order, like I said. Uh, the COVID virus has everybody locked in and in some places have already shut down again and you know you got more crafters at home doing things or want to redo things you got the DIYer at home doing you know doing the same thing so but like I said I do ship out I, um, I'd be more than happy to ship to you I'd be more than happy to do curbside service I'd be more than happy to do appointments um, I'm going to open the shop probably from 12 to 6, starting out. Um, my normal hours are 10 to 6. I've been getting here anywhere from 10 or 12. So it'll probably be about 12 to 6 uh, on a daily basis. Unless I'm not busy, then I'll leave. But um, also I got some, I wanted to let you know, I did get some uh, decor waxes in, which are really cool. Um, and I'll share a video, if I can find it, of a girl that did her hardware with this, uh, with the metallic um, waxes. I bought these waxes before I ever started, um, like I said, before I ever got, bit, got started. I bought a couple small ones, I bought some larger ones, and I'm still using them, and that's been a couple years ago, guys, and they're almost still full. So you don't have to use a whole lot, but I got the Firebird and the um, Blue Lagoon here. And I think, to be honest with you, I think this is the Blue Lagoon here with the Firebird on this side. But these are the small ones, the little little containers, and they seal back up, they're little tins. So I do have those. I've got an Amethyst, a Rich Copper, and a Mint Sparkle. Sorry if y'all looking at the top of my hat. That's the Mint Sparkle. And it's really rich and pretty. And this is the copper. It's a rich copper color. It's not real bright, it's rich. It's kind of a duller, darker, darker copper color. And then here's the amethyst. And these are by, um, although I get them through Prima, they're by Art, Art, Al Alchemy, 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 is that how you say it? I think maybe. Which is the Finnebear, I think is how you say it. Redesign by Prima, with Prima has the larger, the smaller ones, metallics are in, are by Art Alchemy, Alchemy, I think. I can't talk today anyway. The redesign has the larger ones, and this is a silver, and this is another another copper color that I bought the larger one in. For those of you who don't use it, you know, as much as I would, I would suggest buying the smaller ones. I buy the large ones for me, um, but if you do a lot of furniture, I get the large one. Or if you have a big piece that you, you know, that you want to do on the furniture itself, but. Um, you don't have to do the furniture with it, but it's you can. It's not limited to just furniture. You can go to the hardware, 
You can do it on your hardware. You can do it on just about anything. But like I said, I'll try to find that video and share it with you where um, she used these different waxes and she used multiple colors on her hardware. Oh gosh, guys, it turned out absolutely gorgeous. It was really pretty. So I think that's really all I wanted to show you today or for right now. But um, guys, I appreciate y'all sticking it out with me and not unfollowing me while I was gone. Um, I appreciate the new followers I picked up and I look forward to helping you guys out any way I can. And if you guys have any questions or have any remarks or anything, leave them down below. Please share my video. I would greatly appreciate it. And I look forward to being here the rest of the time. And I look forward to seeing you guys again real soon. Thanks, guys. Happy Friday. Bye.